I guess in the interest of time, gentlemen, I will call this meeting to order. Um, so we, uh, this is the Halifax Finance Committee on the 4th of November of 2024, having our biweekly meeting uh, starting at, eight, uh, at 6 p.m. Uh, in attendance are Frank Johnston, Mike Rugnetta, and Bill Smith, and myself from the committee. Uh, also present are Katie Esposito, our secretary, and Cody Haddad, the town administrator. Uh, a couple of housekeeping items. This meeting is being recorded by Area 58 as a virtual meeting. All votes will be taken by roll call as it is a virtual meeting. Um, so uh, without further ado, uh, we will go ahead and uh, get started. So we have some minutes to be approved. I believe there's three sets, one from October 7th and two from the 22nd, one for our FinCom meeting by itself, and then the Board of Selectmen um, meeting, a uh, joint meeting with the Finance Committee. So um, for, we'll start, we'll do them one by one. So I'm going to presume at this point, unless someone has an objection, that we've all had a chance to read through them and make any corrections that need to be done. Uh, so for the minutes for the uh, 7th of October, do I, ha are there any ads, changes, or deletions that need to be done? Nope, I, I'm good, Jim. I'm okay. good. All right, very good. So can I get a motion to approve those minutes for the 7th of October? So moved. Second. Outstanding. And roll call vote. Uh, Frank? Yes, on the 10-7-2024 minutes. Very good, sir. Uh, Bill? Yes. Thank you, Bill. Mike? Yes. Thank you, Mike. And I'm a yes as well. So that motion will carry four to zero. Next set, uh, we'll do the uh, hour meeting by itself on the um, on the 22nd. Uh, so this is the Finance Committee meeting uh, for the 22nd that was held at 5 p.m. Uh, any ads, changes, or deletions for those minutes of those meetings by anybody? I'm good. None here. Good. Very good. Motion to approve. So moved. Second. Thank you, everybody. Frank? Uh, yes, on the 10 22 um, of the FinCom meeting. Thank you, sir. Bill? Yes. Thank you, Bill. Mike? Yes. Thank you, Mike. And I am a yes as well. So that will also carry all in favor 4 0. The last set is the Board of Selectmen Finance Committee joint meeting where we covered the uh, budget memo that went out by Cody uh, on 10 22 24 at 6 p.m. Uh, any ads, changes, or deletions to those minutes or discussion items? I'm good with those minutes. Well, good. Very good, gentlemen. I motion to approve the minutes. So moved. Second. Thank you, Bill. Frank? Yes, on the 10 22 uh, joint meeting with the uh, Board of Selectmen. Thank you, sir. Bill? Yes. Mike? Yes. And I'm a yes as well. So all minutes are current and approved as of this vote. So thank you, gentlemen, for taking the time to look at them and getting any changes done. Um, We're so all caught fun. up on minutes then, huh? Yeah, that's uh, except for, yeah, it, we are up yeah. to date. Yeah, great, great. Thanks, Katie. Yeah, Katie's doing a bang-up job on that. Of course. <laughs> Okay, uh, the next agenda item that we had was we were going to have Steve join us. Um, Steve had declined this meeting. Um, I responded to Steve and asked him, since it was the third meeting that he declined, I asked him when he could attend, and he has given me a date of the 2nd of December is the first available meeting he has to come and chat with us about his capital budget. So, um We'll pass on that agenda item at this point, and we will put him on the schedule for the 2nd of December. Uh, and hopefully he will, uh, we can, and if we, and Cody, uh, should we just send him like some questions so he can come prepared or, or what do you think we, how do you think we should uh, work with uh, this? <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Maybe what you can do, Jim, is put it on as an agenda item for your next meeting. So the group, okay. so you all have an opportunity to talk about it. Right. And I, um, I'll make sure all of those questions are captured, sent over to Steve, and he has everything prepared. And then there might be some things on my end that you may need. Uh, sure. So that way, there, while he's here, you can make sure you uh, use the 
opportunity to its fullest. Yeah, no, that's that's a that's that's perfect. So we'll add just a uh, discussion for the for the committee next for the next meeting to just talk about what information we are going to be looking for from uh, Highway Steve uh, to make it the best use of everybody's time. Yeah, you could probably have Katie just put an item uh, preparation okay. for discussion with uh, you know highway department or highway surveyor. Very good, sir. Thank you very much for that guidance. Okay, um, so uh, that's it for that item. So the next item was going to be returning to in-person meetings. Um, I think we'll push this to the next one also, because I think everybody should be here to chat about that and uh, just not have four of us say we're all going to do it and then make seven of us do it. So um, <laughs> I think I don't think that would be fair, uh, just giving the considerations of people's time. So we'll just we'll just push that on to the next meeting uh, that we have, I think, which is already on the calendar for the 18th of uh, November. Um, so uh, I think that's probably the next that's probably the best way to handle it, at least from my perspective. Anybody have any objection to that? No, I agree. That's fine. I'm good with that. Very good. Thank you, gentlemen. Appreciate it. Um, okay, so uh, next agenda item is uh, committee liaison updates. Um, I think, I think, Cody, we're just about wrapped up with the zoning bylaw committee stuff, right? That's just about done. Yeah, we'll probably have look to have another meeting um, probably after town meeting. So sometime okay. in December, wrap some things up. There's been a couple of small developments with this ADU stuff that, you know, that's come out. We just want to make sure our bylaw is consistent with that. But, yeah, we're, yeah. we're pretty close to being done with that. Perfect. So there we're going we're gonna to get a uh, kind of a final draft out then, Cody, associated with that, and then get review of that and then make it public or... Yeah, once we have it finalized, Ed has has come across a couple more small things in his review, and now that you know he's been here a little bit longer, and we have a little bit more time, um, he wants to talk about. But and yeah, we'll we'll look to you know send out a public document by you know early twenty twenty five and Good. start doing some public meetings, kind of like we did with the MBTA communities uh, meeting earlier in October. Do that with. Um, the zone, regular zoning changes just to try to make it easier to digest so what people understand it prior to town meeting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that'd that be good. Get it out to everybody well ahead of time. Perfect. Okay. Jim, Jim, I want a quick question on the, um, yeah, on the liaison thing. What is that folder? I can't find it in the OneDrive with the assignments on it. Um, oh, the spreadsheet that has like who who's assigned to which. Yeah, departments. I know I have library and parks and rec. I just can't remember the third one you guys threw at me, and I couldn't find it in the drive myself. Sure, uh, let me. Um, I think it was housing authority. Housing, yeah, that sounds familiar. So, do you have you have access to the folder though, right, Mike? I do. Yeah, I, mean, I have the one drive open now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It can be sometimes confusing trying to bump around on that uh, FinCom folder to look for things. So what I'll do, Mike, is I'll go I'll go in and dig through it. I'll find it and I'll just I'll just email it directly to you if you if you would rather have that. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, it's good. Okay. It's housing. I can I'll take a look at some of the previous Absolutely. documents and so forth. Yeah, thank you. I think as we're getting closer to January, if you guys want to fire out just like a I guess just an introductory email, like hey, I'm you know I'm your liaison from the finance committee, uh, for and you know anytime you know when we and. Cody, I don't know if we're doing the same thing we did last year where they're just setting up meetings and you're going to be there and then the, our guys come in and sit with you and the department head to go over that? Is that the yeah, I think so. Yes. Yeah, so once we get, once budgets start coming in, I'll send out those introductory emails. Well, some of them will be introductions. Okay. Some will be introduction um, with all of the budgetary material in, um, in one folder for each department. And then we'll look to what I'll do is each of you, I'll get your availability and then we'll try to bang out all of your departments in one meeting. So you're not coming back and forth. Nice. That'll work. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, very good. 
So that should, unless anybody has anything else to add, we can move on to the next agenda item and close out liaison updates. Um, so correspondence or as may arise, um, I haven't gotten any public emails uh, to me or sent to me for the finance committee's um, uh, attention. Uh, I did send out the last response I got from the uh, Kingston finance chair uh, to everybody for everybody to look at. And it has the chain of all the other emails in there also. Uh, just with the two towns. So, you know, pretty positive stuff, I think, at this point. Um, again, just to dovetail into what we heard on Saturday, yeah. you know, there's a few towns out there that are already kind of approaching uh, regional schools as one group. Um, and that seems to be working out well for them. So hopefully we can get that kick started here. Uh, with and Silver. the other news out of the talking to different individuals from different towns is a lot of them are receiving the school budgets in january february at the latest right so however we can lean on them to get it out yep. sooner we did, we did um the school committee had asked me if i would apply for a grant on behalf of them to to explore full regionalization so um kingston and halifax school committees supported the just exploration i just want to make that clear all this would do is fund a consultant to come in and and study you know pros and cons of full regionalization so kingston and halifax supported that we submitted the grant application um and we're waiting to hear back so what what are we what what are we saying is full? Re you mean all the schools being regionalized? Yeah, so not just this uh, kind of semi regionalization where it's only um, seven through twelve and pre K. And that would benefit Halifax how? Well, that's what the study would look at. But for one, you have a lot of repetition of costs. So, for instance, right now, a lot of our elementary special ed we're paying um, to to send out outside maybe because we don't have enough resources internally where if you had a regional level right and you were approaching on a regional level you may be able to do a lot of it internally and create programs internally that the region pays for as a whole um, transportation is another one that um, the school administration has has said would be a, a cost savings because then you could again approach it on a regional level for all mm -hmm. the grades rather than just uh individually for the um k through six okay mm. Mm. okay should be interesting i think um yeah i mean it doesn't hurt to to explore it and see what you know what are the pros what are the cons yeah. um, it's definitely i'm not going to say it's super unique this kind yeah. of split but the way we operate is definitely unique with our schools sure no understood i just i'm curious if that would address the like the um the the headcount reduction the enrollment reductions, you know, if that would kind of ameliorate that in any fashion. Mm. Hmm. Odd. Okay. Um, so I guess just one quick update, and I just thought about this over the weekend, Cody. This So is our accounting software consultant all finished and we're good to go, or are we still kind of pecking away at that? Yeah, so we ran into, we started building out the, some of the back, well, not back end. We started migrating the data, and then we were building out um, kind of some of the way, the segments, the way our accounts work. And we ran into an issue where they weren't able to um, create, we call it control accounts. It's, it's, so we've had a few meetings with their engineering team. It looks like it's going to take longer than anticipated. The new um, anticipated go live date is July 1st of 25. Um, the, the positive is, you know, they've agreed to basically give us the software for free for now. Um, so we got a significant credit, um, the, almost $40,000 that we're, we can use during this implementation. So we kind of, they kind of recognize that um, we're going, we, we could, potentially be very beneficial for them and being one of the, you know, first full Massachusetts clients that's fully integrated. But again, I, I we kind of got across to them that we're, we're happy to do it, but certainly not at a cost to Halifax. And they, right. they, um, so 
longer than anticipated, but I think it'll work out. The what we what we found out was a lot of the towns that are currently using it are having to utilize two different softwares. You know, one software only does so the new one only is built out so far, and they're using the old one. And I just it's not a good idea for us to to have to use two soft you know two different systems. I'd rather wait until the system's built out so we yeah. can utilize that one system. And so that's where that build out is occurring. Are are we their first? Is is our town their first client? No, um, they have several other clients in Massachusetts, but they're they're utilizing multiple software systems because it's not built out completely yet. And then as far as they're they're newer to the Massachusetts market. They're around the country and they're implemented in several municipalities out of state. But the way that our state reporting requirements are, it, they're not able to just migrate it from the way that they operate in other states to Massachusetts. Um, and like I said, there other other municipalities were okay with using the multiple systems while they kind of work out the kinks. But we had said we 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 we're not okay with that. Right. Okay. Odd. Very good, sir. Appreciate the update. Thank you so much. No problem. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right. Anybody have anything else they want to chat about while the group is here for As May Rise? I just wanted to say thanks to, to Cody and, and Halifax for allowing us to go to that event on Saturday. Oh, was, did we uh, find the invoice, Cody? Yeah, they've been they've been processed. It was just a we we batched them all together, so we waited to send out a check one check with everyone's yeah. on it. Yeah. Um. So they're they're it's in the mail. Uh, that's fine. It was just kind of funny. They were like, "Uh, yeah. you, you haven't well, paid yet," and I'm like, "You're what? from Halifax, huh?" <laughs> oh, we really? talked to you over yeah. in the corner. Yeah. Oh, that's that's funny because the um the invoice says just. You know, some we'll we'll send you the invoice and submit payment when you right. get a chance. It doesn't yeah. say it has to be prepaid or anything like that. Yeah, so. It's just it was just kind of funny. And I think she the the woman that did it just felt a little awkward and like calling us out when we're all standing <laughs> yeah. there. <laughs> oh, that's glad funny. I, glad I missed that part. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, we we didn't cut her any slack. No. <laughs> that's good. Was there a lot of people there? Um, I'd say there was probably at least 50, maybe 60. Ah, so I nice. thought it was pretty well attended for where it was. Really and well was. attended. Yeah. Good. Uh, yeah. You guys good. found it beneficial, useful? I um, did. It was, it was nice to hear from other towns. That's yeah. that's what I would say. So just kind of hearing what they're going through and, you know, comparatively with what we, you know, are dealing with on a year-in, year-out basis. So some towns have it pretty tough. Glad we're not stoting. Um, <laughs> yeah. that's, that's, that's recorded. Wouldn't want to be in that zip code. Yeah. <laughs> um, but other than that, you know, I think we're we're on par with all the other towns. I, I think it was Medford who did the budget or the school budget presentation. Oh, Mansfield. Mansfield. Med oh, Mansfield. Mansfield. Sorry. Mansfield. Mansfield. No, Med, Med. It was Medfield and Holliston did the budget one in the beginning. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. It was the uh, the assistant. TA from Medfield uh, okay. and the TA from Holliston yeah. did the budget presentation. That was very good. Yeah. Yeah. So we I talked a lot about the good. that whole thing about the GFOA. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but that costs that cost, that you know they want money to belong to that. Of course. That's right. Yeah. And to get their quote unquote free tools. Get the gold standard. Yeah. We we did hear that uh, that Jim Walters was going to uh, become a member of the uh, what was that board we signed you up for, Jim Walters. <laughs> They were oh, looking we, for we nominated them. They were looking for politics oh. or something when Jim wasn't at the table. So we, you know, we said, yeah. So I think Jim has been looking to be on this committee for a long yeah, time now. You better talk to him when he comes back. He wants to do that. <laughs> that guy lassoed you so fast. <laughs> he did. He tracked me down. <laughs> Chased you right out into the parking lot. <laughs> Too funny. But yeah, it was, it was it was a good meeting. Thank you. Yeah, it was good. Uh, I think it was good that we went and really. Uh, okay. We have the chief on. No. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, anything else for Asme arise? No. I don't think so. All right. So we'll close out that agenda item and we will move to public participation. 
Um, anyone have anything, anyone from the public wish to comment or ask a question of the finance committee? Okay. Going once. All right. So we will uh, close that part out. Um, and which leads us to the last bullet point, which is the next meeting planning. So we have uh, 1118 uh, as the next meeting that's already on the calendar. It will, most, it will be a virtual meeting where we will discuss some of the items that we pushed forward. Also, if you guys could take a few minutes and review the code of conduct that Cody sent out today, uh, you know, I'd like for us to have a discussion and vote on the adoption of that uh, as part of uh, how the committee will operate with respect to the rest of the town. Fair? Sounds I good. Think it's very Absolutely. fair. Cody, do we have to sign off on something for that or? No. Okay. When, we've adopted it. So when, when new members are appointed, we're having them get, a, they're getting a copy of it when they, uh, when they're sworn in with the town clerk. Yeah. But, um, you know, for exi any, for existing members, no need to, to kind of sign off on it. It's, it, it really just, really you guys already operate under it ultimately it's it's really just making sure that everyone's acting respectfully uh treating others with respect um but no, no need to sign off yeah okay okay very good so jim we're going to talk about that next meeting a little bit or yeah no absolutely i'm going to put it on as an agenda item okay so just take the next you know the next couple of days review what cody sent out uh if you have any questions we'll be happy to chat about them uh, on the fourteenth, uh, and if everybody's okay with it, like I said we'll just vote to uh, to adopt it as our operating as our operating policy as the finance committee. Good, good. Yeah, I'm good. Yep. Good, good, good. All right. Well, gents, I think that'll be a pretty brief meeting for us this evening. Um, I don't have anything else on the agenda. Anybody have anything else they want to discuss while the group is here? No, I'm good tonight. All right. I don't think so. So may I get a, a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. Thank you, gentlemen. Frank? Uh, yes, uh, to adjourn, please. Very good, Mike? Yes, to adjourn. Thank you, Mike. Bill? Yes. Thank you, Bill. And I'm a yes as well. This meeting is adjourned at 624. Thanks, everybody, for attending. Thanks. Good night. Thank you. All. Have a good night.